Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. In this video guys, we're going to be diving down into the world of Polkadot, specifically talking about the price action of DOT and the all-time highs that are being set. Guys, as we get into this video, if you do find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you want to stay up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto, make sure you subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with everything. Right, with that said, done and out of the way, let's actually jump down right into the charts here and take a look at what's going on with Polkadot. Okay, guys, so we're going to start with this weekly chart. And uh, we would want to kind of review, you know, the progress that is going on here on the road to $203. Okay, this is the optimized model that basically looks at the trends of the bull run so far and kind of predicts out where we think the next leg is likely to go. Right now, we are trading at $54.01. And uh, we have good progress and good journey to the upside here. And um, as we can see quite clearly, we have a 4.236 extension at $203. And um, so the weekly chart's looking pretty good, pretty bullish, and we can see the sentiment in the space. But when we jump down into our hourly, this is where we get a little bit more of the clarity over what is going on right now. We can obviously see that in the last day, we have continuously set new all-time highs in the last three consecutive days. We are still working our way to the upside, and I still think there's plenty of room to grow on this daily chart. As we can see that we are obviously heading up into the overbought area like we were previously during the month of August. Again, we can be up here for quite some time and everything's looking very, very good and very bullish. Again, we've been talking about this move uh, on the cards for a polka dot for quite some time. Uh, everyone who's uh, familiar with the channel will recognize us talking about how our inbox was getting full and full and full of offers for promotional content for the Polkadot ecosystem as a whole, new dApps that are launching and all of that kind of good stuff. Uh, now, obviously, we haven't actually taken up any of those offers to do promotional work with the Polkadot ecosystem or any of the projects launching on there. Um, but the point remains that ultimately, we aren't the only influencers in the space. People will be doing a lot of promotional activity for Polkadot, specifically with this particular week in, in question, as the para uh, chain auctions start to liven up a bit. And obviously, we are going to start seeing a lot of interaction, a lot of transactional volume, and a lot of uh, interest on the Polkadot ecosystem now. And this is why we're starting to see such a good move to the upside. Of course, all these moves to the upside should also be taken with a pinch of salt. We do not move in straight lines, and it's important that we acknowledge that profits will be taken on this journey to the upside. There will be the occasional pullback, which will be perfectly natural and very normal as we continue the growth to the upside overall. Now, this daily chart has a different price associated with it or a different target, a more conservative price target that we've been talking about on this channel for what feels like months now, and that is $177. This $177 is based on the high area that we were set up here in May the 15th down to the low that was set on the 20th of July. When you take this downtrend into consideration, it allows us to predict up where things are likely to go next. These are called the Fibonacci extensions, the 1.618 to 2.618, the 3.618 and the 4.236. Now these do actually top out with the 4.236 extension coming in at $177.47. So we're obviously on our journey to our first extension of $74.19. That's the kind of thing that we're looking for. And again, something that we should be you know, aspiring to over the next few weeks. Um, so everything on this daily chart is looking very bullish, right? We have good traction to the upside. We had the pullback in September, allowed us to accumulate more dot ahead of what was coming. We've had fantastic recovery. And then we pulled right back in the later that part of September and then October kicks in and we were moving nicely. We traded sideways just above the 786, gearing up for a big move to the all-time high. We've been talking about it for, for what might be a week or two now, um, really gearing up for this big move to the all-time high. We've obviously seen that and now we're getting some good traction to the upside. So it's at this point, I'm going to jump over to the avai.io uh, you know, dashboard. And for those who are unfamiliar with avai, there's a link in the description down below. Uh, do go ahead and sign up. It's completely free. Um, you won't be disappointed by what you find. Um, with Evide.io, they use artificial intelligence and machine learning to help us understand the underlying value of cryptocurrencies. Um, so Polkadot here is an A3 cryptocurrency rating overall. It's actually come down from an A2 rating yesterday. So we are expecting a pullback to occur, and the artificial intelligence is indicating this to us. Now, what this actually means is there's a change in the fundamental data that sits behind the overall rating. And when we drill down into that, we can see we have an AMIHAD ratio, we have a fear and greed index, a sharp ratio, a moving average average and the profitability. But which one of these elements is causing that downgrade in the overall rating? Well, the AMIHAD ratio hasn't changed. It's an A2 rating, basically meaning that liquidity is perfectly fine. Buying and selling is not an issue. 
We have a fear and greed index, however, that has dropped down to a B2 rating. So we were looking incredibly greedy as people were chasing those green candles. But obviously, as we come out of the greedy area, we become neutral. Profits are potentially on the uh, are being taken. And we're looking for a little bit of a correction now on this smaller time frame. And I'm going to get into that in a moment. And um, from here, though, it's neutral, which basically means it can flip right back up there into an incredibly greedy area where people start FOMOing in, chasing those green candles once again. Uh, when we drill down a little bit lower here, we have a sharp ratio that's A2. Basically, the sharp ratio is your risk reward ratio. It's basically saying, do the risks um, outweigh the rewards or do the rewards outweigh the risks? And right now, the rewards outweigh the risks, meaning that we might want to have some exposure to Polkadot. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. Chris is not a financial advisor. Evide.io are not offering you financial advice. What they are offering you is a way to basically graph up the underlying data that's not usually readily available to you. Um, and again, help you make your own decision as to whether whether or not you want to invest in something like Polkadot. And so with a sharp ratio that's actually saying, yeah, it's looking pretty healthy um, and a fear and greed index that's actually pulling down into a neutral position, expecting maybe a correction, there might be an opportunity to buy that dip. Uh, as they say. Moving averages, we have an A2 rating. Again, 10, 50, and 100 days. All of that's looking pretty healthy as well. And the profitability is right up there as an A1 rating. So overall, Polkadot's actually looking pretty good, despite the fact that we've had a pullback. That pullback in overall rating is only related to the fear and greed index actually moving from extremely greedy down to neutral. So we are, at least we have an understanding as to what might be going on. Now, when we get into the charts here, and we jump down into our hourly view, we're going to actually take a look at these hourly candles and we can see the progress, the launch that we had um, to the upside, taking us up into the overbought area. Now, if I just drill down into this in a little bit more detail here, uh, what we're able to really do is see that we pushed up quite nicely and we lost momentum. OK, so we can see we pushed up. We actually lost momentum around here. OK, we started to kind of trade sideways, even though we pushed up a little bit more with some volume behind it, the overall uh, momentum was actually being lost. Our stochastic actually started to lower down and we became oversold just here. This allowed us to continue that growth to the upside. Again, approaching up here and um, towards the overbought area. We actually traded sideways as we went back to the oversold area. And now we're looking to track back up and set back up into the overbought area right now. So we are looking for a small pullback to occur, stabilize again, and then continue that growth to the upside. This pattern that has been forming here is basically a continued growth that we are looking to achieve. Um, so it's not impulsive. Again, we have to have this, uh, this move here as a potential A or a potential one uh, wave, this being potentially wave two. Um, and again, we could still be on the cards for a wave three, looking for a pullback for wave four before going into a wave five, right? So this is yet to kind of scope itself out. But if we actually take a look at it on a different timeline, um, such as the four hourly, things might become a little bit clearer, right? As in we have uh, a potential wave one, a potential wave two, looking to go into a wave three before a wave four and then a wave five, right? So we're always looking for impulsive moves where possible and then corrective moves otherwise, right? An ABC correction is usually what we look for. And we would have that um, right here in this regard. So we'd have a pullback and then a push up and then a pull back, that being your ABC move, okay? Um, so again, this is looking interesting. We will have to see if that continues to track or whether or not we have a pullback that actually goes lower than wave one, which has been the case at the moment across many different cryptocurrencies. And um, so when we go back into our hourly and we actually review you know, these hourly moves that we're looking at here, looking at the overbought right now, we can of course be up here for a little while. Um, you know, ultimately, we are looking for a pullback. So we're gonna pull and bring up the volume here and we're going to analyze every time you peaked out here, you've had a drop in volume to protect the price and lower the stochastic, right? We had a good push up. We dropped the volume. We lowered the stochastic. Right now, we've had a good push up. We're trying to lower the volume and lower the stochastic, okay? So we are losing momentum. It'll become clearer in the next hour or so as to whether or not that volume is continuously dropping down then do expect us to pull down to find a support level. There's a good interesting support level here at $52.54. Uh, uh, if that holds nicely for us, I'll quickly just mark that up with a uh, horizontal ray just here. Um, let me find it. Where was it? Uh, say it's approximately in here. And uh, there's a couple of areas that are of concern, right? So we obviously have this area here at 51.76. And there's also one just here at 5208, for example, in this kind of area. Now, when I actually pull this up, and let me just get rid of that volume for a second, uh, what we are looking for specifically is good areas of support 
that were also previous areas of resistance. And we can see that we're wicking up to this point here uh, and then getting rejected from it. And then we whip down to it and we found support. So when we're looking for a correction, this is where we're looking to find support and continue that growth to the upside. Okay, so right now, this is an interesting point for us. So we're going to continue to monitor that situation. Uh, and again, this is an interesting area we can also see over here as well. So if I uh, go ahead and grab hold of my horizontal ray, um, we can also put this one just here. And the same pattern appeared, right? We were found in resistance. We pushed through it. We turned it into resistance. We broke through the resistance and then we back tested and turned it into a support line before pushing up we found that upper resistance got rejected didn't close below this line and then we took off again so right now when we're talking about potentially uh, um you know carrying on up here a little bit more before pulling back that's the support level that we're looking for before continuing that growth to the upside overall polka dots in a really good position right now and i think this growth is going to continue to the upside overall and we're going to start seeing a fantastic return on investment specifically as we head out towards the conservative 177 dollar target for the end of the bull run or even if we want to really take every dime that we can talk about the trend-based fib extension coming in at 203 dollars um, by the end of the bull run so these are some some interesting kind of price expectations for polka dot and i think many people many people invested in polka dot from the early stages will be incredibly pleased with those kind of returns on investment guys i'm going to leave the video there if you have found it useful and informative hit that like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel why not go ahead and subscribe tap that bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with this said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one.